First tonight at 10. One of the unions representing railroad workers is criticizing the working conditions at the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railway. The Brotherhood of Locomotive Engines, Engineers and Trainmen is unhappy with new points-based attendance policy and that its members have gone without a new contract in over two years. And as News H Jenna Webster now reports, the union says all this results in problems for the nation's supply chain. BNSF is coming under fire from the union that represents its rail workers. I have never seen it this bad. Dennis Pierce is the president of the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers and Trainmen, who represent around 33,000 workers nationally. As we say, you either go to work uh, sick and tired or you get fired. Uh, that's really what this has come down to. Railroad workers don't have set days off, and Pierce says BNSF makes it hard for them to take paid vacation days. They just reject your request, even though they may have staffing. So that leads people to have to take unpaid time off. And that's where workers run into trouble with the high-vis attendance policy. They're given 30 points for the rest of their careers, but docked as many as seven for a day taken off. The idea that people can't go tend to their family's medical issues or their own uh, in a time of a pandemic is ludicrous to us. Workers were ready to strike over this high-vis policy three months ago, but a federal judge ruled they couldn't, saying it would harm the nation's supply chain. But Pierce says more than 700 railroaders have quit since this policy took effect, and that's having its own impact on the supply chain. They can't hire. They can't move trains. The nation's rail system is at gridlock right now, and it's because of these business practices. But Pierce says this is all a way for BNSF to push for one-person crews instead of the current two. It's just not even remotely safe, nor would it be efficient when it comes to moving the freight. At the same time, union workers have been without a contract and a pay raise since 2019. If they would just make a reasonable offer and make these jobs more attractive, they would then help the supply chain because more people would come to work for them. And after over two years of contract negotiations, Pierce says the unions and railway are still light years apart on an agreement. Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. BNSF tells News 8 it's currently training 300 new workers and that in anticipation of a new contract agreement, it continues to set aside funds for pay raises.